Helicoprion divisii, a peculiar eugenodont cartilaginous fish, was first discovered in Western Australia in the mid-1880 years. Initially, it was mistaken for the equally strange Adestus, but over a decade later, after fossils of its relative Helicoprion bessonoi were found in the Ural Mountains, it was correctly classified into its own genus. For more than a century, Helicoprion was primarily known from its unusual spiral-shaped tooth whorls, leaving paleontologists baffled about their function and location within the body. Early theories placed the whorl as a defensive structure on the snout or as part of the tail or fins, but it was eventually understood to belong to the lower jaw, though its exact arrangement remained unclear for a long time. A downward curved whirl position was a favored reconstruction throughout much of the 20th century. By the 60s, discoveries of cartilage and soft tissue outlines from other eugenodonts helped refine the understanding of Helicoprion's anatomy. These fish were identified as relatives of modern chimeras but had shark-like bodies, large triangular pectoral fins, a single dorsal fin, no pelvic or anal fins, and broad tail keels. The tooth whorl was situated in the center of the lower jaw, with new teeth growing at the back and spiraling forward and inward. In the 90s, a pizza cutter reconstruction proposed that Helicoprion had long, narrow jaws with the whorl positioned far forward, designed to slice and crush prey against the underside of the snout. Another model in 2008 suggested the whorl was deep inside the throat, but a revised pizza cutter model a year later proposed a special pocket in the upper jaw lined with teeth. A major breakthrough came in 2013 when CT scans of a helicoprion specimen discovered in the 1960s revealed an almost complete set of articulated jaws. This showed that the fish had narrower, shorter jaws than previously thought, with the whorl filling the entire lower jaw and supported by cartilage on both sides. Today, we know Helicoprion divisii lived worldwide during the early to mid-Permian, around 272 to 268 million years ago. Based on the largest tooth whorls, it may have grown up to 8 meters long, comparable to the size of modern basking sharks. Throughout its life, it continually added larger teeth to the whorl, which spiraled inward within the lower jaw, retaining older teeth rather than shedding them. The upper jaw contained a sheath-like pocket lined with numerous small rounded teeth, and as Helicoprion closed its mouth, the whorl grabbed, sliced, and pulled prey further in. This mechanism likely evolved to specialize in efficiently removing the shells of cephalopods such as ammonites and nautiloids.